Good evening. Uh, it's uh, what about eight o'clock? Yeah, eight twenty. Eight twenty. We're on our way over to. We're walking. If you can't tell, um, we're uh, we're walking over to Portofino Bay to uh, to get some dinner and kind of walk around. We haven't explored it much. Yeah, we haven't had time to go over there yet. So this is kind of like our first trip. Yeah, well, uh, it's the one premier hotel that we haven't stayed at, or premium hotel, I don't know what they're called, premium premier, it's the one that we haven't stayed at yet, um, so I've been there a couple times on a walk, and we took our dogs there once, but we've never eaten there, really enjoyed the resort at all, so um, we just want to go uh, dive in and check it out. Yeah, so it's uh, probably going to take about what? Five, mm, yeah, like five to ten five, minutes. Five to ten minutes to, to walk there, so mm -hmm. yeah, so come along. Hey, we made it. Okay, we're here. This is the little entrance of the driveway. There's a little walkway here to the side, so we're gonna take that. Yeah. I still think the Hard Rock is my favorite of the resorts out here, but this does seem very like homey. Very simple. Yeah, very very comfortable. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful resort. I'm like creeping in those people's rooms. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> no, we're not gonna. But they got it wide open, so you can see the bed and everything. But yeah. it's nice. Yeah, and there's the line for the uh, water taxi. So you can see the water taxi right there, and then just more water, more rooms. It's really pretty with all the lights at night. This is the first time that we've actually seen it like this. And honestly, it's like one of those things too that like here, it's so quiet and the hustle and bustle from the parks really doesn't extend out to here. Every time I've been here, day and now night, it's even with a, you know, the boatload of people, it's not super crazy or busy or anything. Um, so it just, it's really, I think this to me is like the most secluded. Um, feeling in comparison to the other resorts because Hard Rock has, you know, a lot of lively energy, which we like. Um, but if you're looking for something a little more relaxed, this might be your uh, your place. A cup of tea. Yeah. We got some shops right here along the side. Yeah, and upstairs, so right there, that little patio is super cool. It overlooks the water, um, and there's like a couple tables on the patio that um, that overlooks this, and that's the, the fine dining. Beach. And this is the thirsty fish that we were talking about a second ago that we might uh, go to after. Yeah, since that's open till midnight. Look at this little guy. Like... Little photo op. They yeah, got a little, like cool, cool little, field little sure. moped. They got a bunch of little, uh, little boats, I guess, as they would in Italy. <laughs> It's kind of cool I'm out there. I'm not even going to try to give a specific spot because I don't know anything about it. Either. No, no, God, no. Yeah, not too busy either. I mean, it's uh, definitely spacious enough for people to walk around and enjoy the area. That's cool. It's so open. I think there's like... Two separate by the other. There's a couple pools here. The restaurant's over there. Um, I think right here. I don't okay. know which side because there's the, the Trattoria, and then I think Mama Dell's is on the right. And then there's Sal's. It's like a marketplace deli for like more quick service. Like sandwiches and stuff yeah. like on grab grab and go stuff. Yeah, I looked at the menu. We'll have to stop at all the menus and show you guys, but um, that looks like something that like kind of every day, and this is more yeah. occasional. Yeah, it's so <laughs> so nice. Like look like so homey. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I guess this is the entrance, right? Yes, yeah, so we'll wait. Alright, so there was uh, about a 30 minute wait, so we're gonna go grab a glass of wine where at the Thirsty Fish. Yes. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna go grab a glass of wine real quick and then when our table's ready we'll head on back. But for now this is our We'll just do our plan in reverse. Our spot. Our spot. Man, this is so cool. I really enjoyed. Maybe, uh, I don't know, after we'll have to go walk around. Actually, you want to go peek up by the pool really quick? I would love to go peek up by the pool real quick. Let's do that. <laughs> is that heavy sarcasm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, like, I would... Kind of cool, you feel like you're in the just back alleyways of Italy. Yeah, the roads and everything, like the cobblestone. Yeah. And, is that cobblestone? I could be completely wrong. I think it just rocks. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just I'm, just, I'm just trying to sound cool. Yeah. It's, it sounded really cool. <laughs> yeah, there's like brick papers and yeah, so we, the, the design of the buildings is really neat. We walked by the bar because uh, we can, because we wanted to come and see the uh, the pool real quick. So yeah, because the first time I came there was like the um, the hillside pool, and I was like, ooh, this this really isn't that that much, and then. I didn't know that this was here. Yeah, so they have two pools. One pool that just looks like it's like a Motel 6 pool, and then this one that's actually, <laughs> actually nice. Honestly, yeah, it's like they have the poolside bar, towel stand, all the seats around. I think there's, I think there's a slide over that way. It's actually popping right now for being so late. Yeah. Well, it's a little warm. It's really a nice evening. It's a it's great a perfect evening. Perfect night to be out here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really cool. It's kind of um, like a seaside city. Got yeah, that what little this me. little pool bar over there. looks looks really really nice. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to come back and have drinks too. Oh, for sure. We'll stay. Maybe we'll stay here during horror nights. Do a night of beach. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Good. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, not too bad. So we're gonna head back down over to the thirsty fish. Get a glass of wine or a beer, I'm not sure yet, and then uh, wait for our table. All right, so we're inside the Thirsty Fish right now. See the back bar. Nice setting area. Really cool decor. Like an extra forest. You can see that's outside where we walked in at. All right, so we decided to take our, our wine that we just ordered outside next to the water. It's just such a nice night. God. Yeah, it's really, it's pretty mild. My, uh, I think that says, I think it said 76 last time I checked, but not super, it's like yeah, slight humidity. Almost no humidity, yeah, it feels like, but. It's not bad. Yeah, so we're just, uh, Gonna hang out and chill, have a couple glasses of wine. We, we decided yeah. to get a bottle because you can actually take this bottle over to the restaurant if you mm -hmm. order it here. Because yeah, they're all the, it's all on property. Yeah, it's all the same entity. So yeah, and we decided to go with the uh, invitation cab, which is actually invitation is their house brand. So it's actually I don't know if that's on every bottle, but um, they have like well, I guess it's the house brand for Lowe's hotels. Mm -hmm. So or at least that's what it seems like. So probably all of those hotels, this is what they carry as their house, but it's pretty good. Yeah. It's kind of mild. It's not super tannic or anything. I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to try and rate this at <laughs> all because I'm just going to sound like an idiot. No, and... it's, it's good like light <laughs> easy like drinking. It's not too heavy or anything like some some get yeah. too heavy, but yeah, it's nice. Wine wine good. Wine good. <laughs> wine good I drink. That's that's all I got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice night. Okay, so we're leaving the bar and uh Heading over to the restaurant. We didn't get a text or anything, but it's about the time they said to come back. So that's what we're doing. We got our, our wine with us. And yeah, hopefully he said that there might be a corking tea, but since we're just walking over with the I glasses. I mean, it's, it's, it's glasses, so we don't have a bottle, so yeah, it should so be I'm, okay. I'm thinking just throughout the resort, we should be fine. I guess if not, we'll figure it yeah, out. But I'm so excited, though, because I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. I didn't, I didn't realize how hungry I was until we sat down and started drinking, and I was like, okay. So, let's go in. All right, so we are just sitting in the lobby area, just waiting to be seated. Really cool, kind of simple Italian um, style. You can see, like, plates and yeah, very classical. artwork. Yeah, very, very, like, classical Italian, like, old school restaurant. Um, so, we're excited to check it out. All right, so our appetizer has arrived. We got the calamari, and it has a um, spicy marinara, mm -hmm. or was it? Yeah, spicy marinara. And then the calamari also has capers. You can see the crispy capers in there. 
tried it already. It's really, really good. Very good. Um, and they also did deliver a bread basket with a um, garlicky olive oil and then um, fresh, uh, fresh baked bread and then breadsticks. Uh, we've already dipped into the breadsticks because we couldn't help ourselves, but it was really good. I'm excited. Okay, so update. This is incredible. And just, uh, I mean, we just figured this out, but I'm going to say a tip. If you come here, I mean, this comes with the the bread, the bread and the olive oil with roasted garlic comes with the uh, meal regardless. Uh, but take the piece of roasted garlic, just one one clove, and just ca- kind of like crush it into the bread, and it's just redonkulous. So, oh my gosh, it's so good. yeah. So this is so far, this is incredible. Yeah, we're already like in love. Yeah. Right. So the food just arrived, as you can see. Got the fettuccine alfredo. And Jeff got one of the house specialties, the lasagna. It's been, it was recommended by multiple people. So. Yeah, yeah. Our uh, our server said that it was the thing to get. And then while we were over at, what was it, the Tasty, <laughs> tasty Fish? The Thirsty Fish. I haven't even come close to finishing my wine. I'm calling it the Tasty Fish. Um, <laughs> but they said this was really good. And honestly, everything here has just been so beautifully plated. We ate so much calamari and there's still a huge portion left we're boxing up to go we didn't finish the bread either which is something that we almost always do so (laughs) but the thing is i usually do which is terrible but (laughs) exactly exactly yes the shape farm and then the um extra sauce um, on the side that our server brought because I, I asked him, I was like, is it saucy? He said, oh, I'll, I'll make sure. So excellent service so far. Um, but we're about to dig in. Okay, so update on the entrees. Uh, this is hands down the best lasagna I've ever had. That's it, uh, kind of different too because on one side they have the um, uh, bechamel sauce and on the other side they have the marinara. So that's something that I've never seen before. But the uh, sausage that's um, uh, in there is that uh, you can taste the, the fennel very distinctly, very good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, yeah, I highly recommend this if you uh, come here. And how's the fettuccine? Okay, so I'm a fettuccine freak, and I asked them, I was like, hey, is it really saucy? Because I like a lot of sauce. So it already came out pretty saucy, and then he bought me an extra, like, large pemmican of it. Um, but the parmesan that is used in this, it's something special because this is probably one of the best fettuccine alfredos I've ever had. Um, it's super creamy. The parmesan is, like, super rich. You can taste the butter. You can taste the cream. Um, just really tasty. The only other one that maybe might compete with this is Princess Cruises, which has, like, classically trained chefs. Um, so, that being said, I'm so excited because, honestly, I already have to go eat that one again. It stands up. It stands up. It's... It's just as much, if not better, than than the Princess Cruises one. And I, I got it like every single day as an appetizer. So, uh, yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up at Mama Della's, and I think uh, Jeff will agree with me that that went above and beyond all expectations that we had. Um, you know, the couple people that we have heard maybe on YouTube channels and everything, um, just to kind of show the backside where we walked in at. Um, but the, the couple people that we heard from, I think they, you know, they said, oh, it's good or whatever. Um, I don't know if it was just the atmosphere of the evening. I mean, what do you think? It's, it's a beautiful night. I mean, it's just a very calm and relaxing night. Really, you can see... I mean, it's a Thursday, and it's a little bit after spring break, but it's very quiet here, and it was very relaxing, so, um... Just look around, it's dead quiet. Yeah, it's yeah. So nice and peaceful. Yeah, all you can see are the, the little mopeds, these people walking their dog, and a little 60th birthday celebration going on, but then that guy up in his room. Stop filming people's rooms. I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm not filming his room. He's got his window wide open. He knows what he's doing. Um, but anyways, um, our server Mohammed, 
Let me see if I can turn you around. Uh, yeah, our server was Mohammed, and he was... Oh, it's not really great. Great lighting here with my little... Here, I'm going to pass this over so I can take this stupid mask yeah. off. Highly, highly recommend um, asking for Muhammad when you're, when you're here. Yeah, he please, out, please do. He was, he was, um, very thorough and very professional, um, but kind. He was really sweet. Like, he, he kind of talked to us and we said, hey, you know, really great service. Thank you so much. And, you know, we really enjoyed you. And he said, yes, like, thank you. You guys are nice. And, um, he, he, he loves, he loves fun people or no not uh, kind people yeah kind people yeah. and you know it just made us feel good because we were just enjoying ourselves you know and uh he, he kind of said he was like yeah just you know take take life a day day at a time and just live day by day and <laughs> just, i'm not gonna just, lie i'm sitting here like at dinner almost like tearing up because he was just really sweet and heartfelt and genuine so just a nice dude, yeah. yeah just a really really nice guy um yeah, like if you've ever been on a cruise like you receive like cruise it was that level service, of service that level of service yeah it was it was very impressive so. we're just gonna finish our, our glasses of wine and then probably head back but uh overall everything that we did tonight was 100%. I right, don't show it. You don't have to show it, but there is a guy and their window is, is like wide open. He's like just standing in his like boxer briefs and we're trying to figure out, I think his lady is like topless. <laughs> Somewhere up there. <laughs> we're not really sure, but I'm like, dude, do you know how windows work? He doesn't. <laughs> he really doesn't. Okay, we need to stop looking. <laughs> it's funny though. I, I mean, like, you're I, I, yourself. I, I, I agree. Like, you're an open very open place <laughs> good for them i mean maybe they're into that <laughs> all right guys well that about wraps it up for our trip to the portofino this evening um all in all i can honestly say i have fallen in love with this resort mm -hmm. it's really cool we haven't even stayed here and um it's just beautiful we were kind of discussing that it really takes you out of the busyness of the resort and how it can kind of be stressful and fast paced. It's very quiet and low key and chill. Oh, it is. It's perfect. I thought it was so basic before actually coming here. I wasn't really basic. You know, yeah, and I, I, that's harsh. Yeah, that's I, mean, harsh. I, just, I just wasn't too. Uh, I guess if you don't know, you yeah, don't know. Yeah, before coming here, I had no clue. But mm -hmm. I mean, you know, when we were over there drinking our wine and everything, and it, it was just just so peaceful, so quiet. Mm -hmm. Like they have. Like, Not only just like the resort, but it, it pulls you out of the whole entire like city, and mm -hmm. you're just like in a totally different place, which you know sometimes we need in our uh, yeah. fast paced yeah, world. We so. live super close, but I would love to do a vacation here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd feel a little ridiculous, but at the same time, it's pet friendly. So um, we did bring our girls up the other day. Maybe we'll insert a picture of him with the girls um, right here. And. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that's all I've got to say. Do you have any final thoughts? I guess this is the final thoughts. Yeah, it was just <laughs> just an awesome, awesome, you know, little date night. Yeah, yeah, it was great. So thanks for coming along, guys. We'll see you soon.